Mr. Stanley, what are you coming here a moment? Well, Peter, what do you want? Have you a moment to spare, John? Yes, come in. Miss Stanley, I want to ask you a favor. These diaries of mine, I expect you've heard of them? No, Sir John. I started keeping them in 1911. They've been getting out of hand and my scrapbooks. Sit down, Peter. Would you like to take the job on? What job, Sir John? Typing them out. I'll help. I'll dictate. I don't think I can. Oh, don't say that. Have you been talking to her, Miss Nash? No, Sir John. Miss Nash won't type them out. She says she's afraid of having her morals corrupted. Oh, I don't mind about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm no good at typing. The last time I made an error, you sacked me. Did I? Well, you're still here, aren't you? At any rate, I don't need a good typist. I need someone with initiative, someone who can work on their own and sort things out. All the things Miss Nash is no good at. I shall resign in a minute. Take your time. Think it over. And give me your answer now. Stop bullying her, John. Oh, it's all right. I'll do it. Good. Mind you, uh, this won't be in BBC time. This will be extra mural and paid for by me in person. Thank you, Sir John. Do you know, Miss Stanley, I had 433 letters of condolence. I've kept a few. Uh, leave room for them. There's the undertaker's bill. I made them knock off five pounds. They had the name of a garage in the back of the house. The television set's here, from the BBC. Where shall we put it? I don't want it in here. You can put it in the drawing room. You can watch it if you like. I can't stand the thing. Well, I think it's wonderful. Don't you, Joe? Waste of time. Well, I prefer television to scrapbooks. Mm -hmm. 